Hey, it's Thomas here. How you guys doing? Um, beautiful day out here. It was a little rain today, but it's nice. It's like 72 degrees, no humidity. Um, just cleaning the house a little bit. I got some work to do. Well, I'm taking a break. Um, so, um, today's story um, is, um, is about me. <laughs> And I'm I'm going to talk briefly political because it goes into what this story is. Um, so um, it talks about hypocrisy, okay? Um, the people in the rich people in Martha's Vineyard say they, they they will accept these immigrants, illegal immigrants, on the on their island. Uh, because um, they want to be a sexual area, and DeSantis dropped 50 of them on there, and within 24 hours, they kicked them off the island. <laughs> they got tossed, uh, so they're going to be deported. But you know that's that's hypocrisy because if you say one thing but you do another, that's hypocrisy. Okay. It's like, you know, well, if, if you felt this way, then why are you doing this? Actions have, is, you should follow what you're saying, okay? Um, say what you mean and mean what you say. And I had a situation when I was younger, um, when I was in my 20s, and this was the case in point about hypocrisy. And I, um, it was a lesson to me. Uh, actions speak louder than words, okay? Um, your actions tell me uh, briefly what your belief system is. Uh, my rabbi um, said the same thing. Uh, and I totally agree. Uh, now I learned this lesson. But it was a hard lesson, but it was something that I, that I found. Uh, so uh, thank you, Rabbi Lappin. Um, but the story, um, I had to be about uh, 24, I believe, and I was living on campus at the University of Maryland with uh, one of my dorm, my dorm one, one of several dorm mates I had. But in this particular time, it was, uh, we were living, in, I was living in College Park, and dorm with a, was, was actually was, uh, he was a co-worker of mine, his name was Tony, and uh, he was African American, but he was from Jamaica. He was of J Jamaican descent, but he's an American citizen. And uh, he had all these uh, anti-white people vibe. White people or the devil. Uh, his music uh, was definitely. Uh, he played a lot of Steel Pulse, and you know they were talking a lot of racial stuff. You know, I listened to it, and at the time I was a Democrat too. Uh, strong Democrat, so and, and I fed into this whole lyrical thing. Plus, you're talking about the '80s. Everybody was against Reagan. If you're against Reagan, I'm against Reagan too. So that's 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 fight the power and all this sort of stuff. So he would talk all this craziness about how the white people did this to him and how the white people did that to him. But you know, he he was a definitely an intelligent man. I mean, he had a, like a a three point nine GPA, and he got into medical school. So he's, you know, he's probably some hot shot doctor now. But uh, but the hypocrisy is what we're going to talk about. So he said, uh, "White people do this and that." Mind you, uh, the whole Florida we live in, we were living in a dorm with the majority of people were white people. They were nice people on the floor, and he had some issues because I pulled him, I pulled regular, I pulled him from another dorm to my dorm because my original roommate, he went to, uh, he went to uh, another person. Um, he was white, um, and he was my best friend. We we had a good time for two years, so I brought him in, and I thought that he'd be cool too. And you know, we were co-workers, like I said before. So, you know, everything was kind of cool, you know, and and then, uh, you know, he was saying, you know, this, that about white people and all this sort of craziness. I said, okay. So one day he said, uh, TJ, uh, I got a person coming over. So if you don't mind, can you just come, um, come back to the room about maybe 930 and I should be done. Okay. I said, okay, cool. Okay. Um, you know, he. 
he, he, I'm not into his business. I know I got work to do. So I said, okay. So um, I went to the library, came back about 9.30, about 10 o'clock actually, 10 o'clock. So 10.30, just you know, gave him a little leeway, extend time just to see what happened so he could finish up what he was doing. I don't know what he was doing. So then I'm like, come to the door to open up, knock on the door. He said, uh, TJ, can you come back? You told me to come back at 9 30. You know, I'm, I gave a little bit of time. He's like, oh, no, no, TJ, I'm a little busy right now. Don't don't come back in. Okay, don't come in. I said, well, okay, well, how much you going to be? It's going to be a while. Okay. And I said, well, uh, okay. And then he was with a, a white young lady, and they had a liaison. <laughs> and they were in the room together. I know they weren't discussing politics. <laughs> Uh, and I knew the, the young lady he was supposedly with because like, she's a co-worker of mine also. And I was like, okay, why are you going to talk all this BS about you hate white people, but yet you're going to be over here with this young lady, this Caucasian young lady, and you're going to be on to some liaison, and you just, you know, going to do this and going to talk that craziness. So, so the rest of the night, I slept at another... Uh, a room that I had access to because um, I was a dorm governor, so I just stayed there the next morning. Let him have the room because I was I was pissed. I was I was really hot. So next morning he said, "TJ, I'm sorry about that. You know, I just I just said, okay, all right. I just I just let it roll. I said, what well, in that? And after that, as that hypocrisy crap he was talking about." Whenever he was talking, I would it would go in one ear and come out the other. I said, "I'm, <laughs> I'm not believing you because you're full of crap. You're full of crap," <laughs> and and it pissed me off. So what had happened? Uh, this is kind of like in uh, April, and in April, you know, Samoa at the time, um, you can move people. Uh, if you got a friend, you can move to another room, and that's exactly what I did. I went move from second floor to the to the fourth floor because uh, another guy I, I saw on the time he was from baltimore also so he said well what you teach you what you come and move with me because i know you're a cool dude and everything is cool well, bam 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 you know and he was a nice dude he was a church going guy too and i said okay i'm gonna move up with you if you don't mind he said yeah come on up and then next year you just go ahead and take the single i said okay fine that's what i did so i didn't tell him of my plans because i was through with his bs I said, I've been in that room for almost three years, and I brought the devil to this room. I said, uh, no, he can have this room, and he can get what he wants, because I'm through with his hypocrisy craziness. So the next year, I moved with the, up to the fourth floor with another dude, okay? Um, he was black. So then the next year, he got a, a freshman, and he was white. <laughs> uh, I know he was pissed. <laughs> so then, so then I saw him uh, on move-in day, and uh, no, a couple days later on, he said, "TJ, why the bleep, bleep, bleep did you leave me with this bleep, 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 bleep?" I just, I just said, "Look, <laughs> you told me you, 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 you hated white people, but you know you were with." sister over there and I thought you changed your mind you want to be with him now so <laughs> I gave you an opportunity to 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 be with your folk you know, so you can mingle with white people now that you had to change your heart he was like man I can't believe you he read me the ride act but I just did not give a flip I said you, you your actions caused this to happen and I'm happy what what happened? I don't care about what happened to do, and I don't care about how you and your roommate gonna gonna make it. I don't care, and I just kept it moving. And so, uh, so naturally, of course, we weren't friends anymore. But I could care less anyway. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I enjoyed telling it. I bring back some memories too. <laughs> but let that be a lesson to you. Actions have consequences, but also actions. Uh, describe what your true beliefs are. If you believe in doing X, then you should follow that same vein. If your actions deviate from what your beliefs are, then there's a problem. And, I, and that was the problem. I just didn't believe what he had to say. 
and I just like, Psh, I ain't got no, no, I ain't got no time for you, so I'm through with you. Anyway, and I learned that lesson as a young man, and uh, I didn't follow it, but I remember it now. Okay, you guys have a good week. Um, take care. Peace. I'm out.